The Roundtable is powered by Patreon, including talented supporters like Novin, launching their own webcomic, XEA, a sci-fi fantasy adventure with an overarching story that's more or less a combination of Ben 10 and Steven Universe, beefed up for an older audience, Axel, a boy gifted with extraordinary powers, Toon, a bug-like alien, and Vaspark, a cyborg, all work for XEA, and travel the galaxy to see what's out there to discover. If this piques your interest, you can check out XEA on Novin's Patreon and Discord server. Links to everything in the description. If you want a shout out on the round table, consider supporting us over on Patreon. Shout outs are our highest tier. Now on to the video. Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ultric Vox, and it's not hard to see why Spinel became the fan favorite character that she is. Whether she's happy, angry, or just trying to find her place in the world, she's always able to remain a captivating character, with a tragic yet relatable backstory that many people can experience some kind of form of throughout their life. Being left behind by Pink Diamond, destined to just wait for her nobody, waiting for nothing, as the person she was created to serve abandoned her, never to see her again. But what if Pink Diamond didn't abandon Spinel? What if that faded day in the garden never happened? What if Pink Diamond never punked Spinel, and instead of having them play a little game, she actually brought Spinel to the planet Earth? This is a question I've seen proposed over and over and over again. So after chewing on it, I feel like I've come to my own conclusion, my own hypothetical of what if Spinel was a crystal gem? And I'm going to hit on all the big time periods. The gem war, its aftermath, and the main events in the series. So with all that said, let's dive in. Immediately, I can envision Spinel actually having a tough time adjusting to Earth. Whereas before she was just relegated to a garden, now she has an entire planet with different climates and changes in weather, dinosaurs and cavemen. It would definitely be a lot to take in. We already know Spinel can be a little bit clumsy and that clumsiness can lead to destruction. So at face value, Pink Diamond may have a little bit of regret with bringing Spinel to the planet. But the gem war would change everything. As I believe such a dire situation would showcase all of Spinel's strengths. First off, I would think Spinel would have to stage defecting from Pink Diamond, as Pink Diamond and Pearl masquerading as her alter egos is easy enough to pull off. Multiple gems can have pearls, so it's not out of a question a Rose Quartz can rebel with a pearl of her own. It's not like the diamonds are exactly great at keeping track of their gems, but a Rose Quartz, a pearl, and a Spinel, especially a one-of-a-kind Spinel with a perfect cut in pink, that would get a little bit fishy. But if Pink Diamond simply informed the diamonds that her spinel went haywire or got kidnapped by Rose Quartz and her pearl, then things would be a little easier to pass off. But back on track, the gem war and the bonds that are forged with all the crystal gems wouldn't necessarily force spinel to be someone else's best friend beyond Pink Diamond, but would rather give her the natural inclination. A purpose of the crystal gems is for everyone to grow into their own person, not just what Homeworld assigned them to be. So I can see spinel being the biggest moral support of the group. She would always provide verbal aid to let everyone speak spirits. On the ropes in a tough fight? Next thing you know, Spinel is cheering you on, giving you the boost to overpower your enemy. All those hours playing with Pink Diamond, trying to make her happy, trying to evoke a smile and a laugh, it would finally have payoff to people who would, well, actually appreciate it. But I don't think this would be the only place where Spinel excels, as she could actually be a formidable foe on the battlefield. Rusty or not, the Crystal Gems got their asses handed to them by Spinel, and although they endured many battles by that point, for Spinel, this would logically be her first time in the ring. And yes, although she was fueled by revenge and anger, it doesn't subtract from the notion that she knew how to take on three gems and one hybrid without breaking a sweat. So imagine if Spinel had the experience of a war. I think she would be able to adapt pretty quickly, using her elasticity to an advantage. Although it's worth noting she was only able to pull the crystal gems because of her rejuvenator. We're not really sure what goes into a gem having a weapon, if it's something they can manifest on their own, or if it only happens by design. In that case, why does Pearl have a spear? Maybe Pearls also have the ability to protect their servants? Spinel wouldn't really be able to rack up a body count, okay, that sounds kind of dark, without some form of a weapon. Luckily, very early on, she would have Bismuth enter her life. And I can only imagine what Bismuth could have whipped up for her, if not just, you know, a scythe? 
So essentially, once the ball got rolling, she would be unstoppable. We would also have to consider what Homeworld has out on the battlefield, because whereas the Crystal Gems are just a hodgepodge of any gems at effect, Homeworld would not have thrown out just anything and anyone. It definitely would have been calculated. We would have seen Quartz Soldiers, and we would have seen Rubies, and all the variations of Garnet that Blue Diamond mentioned in Together Alone. We would have seen gems like Nephrite, but we wouldn't have seen Homeworld dish out gems like Spinel, or even Lapis Lazulis for that matter, which plays into why Homeworld mistook her for a crystal gem in the first place. They didn't send any Lapis Lazulis out on the field, and now all of them would have realized she was there to terraform. So even just having one lightning fast slinky of a gem would have made all the difference. And although I could see Spinel getting pooped quite a bit of times, just because again, she does appear to be kind of clumsy, I think each time she would have bounced back stronger than ever. Until that fateful day, where the diamonds launched her final attack against Earth. Spinel joining Garnet in Pearl as Rose Quartz shields him from the deadly blast. After the war, I can see things being a little bit intense with Spinel. During the Gem War, she was moral support, so naturally, that's what she would want to be to her smaller family afterwards. And before we continue, yes, Pink Diamond would have pulled the same number on Pearl to Spinel to avoid her true identity ever seeping out to the other gems. But anyways, Spinel's tricks and games wouldn't really be the guaranteed remedy for sunshine and rainbows after the war. If anything, it could serve as a grim reminder. Maybe Maybe even causing annoyance. Garnet, Pearl, Rose, all getting unfairly irritated by Spinel. They wouldn't give up on her, but they would definitely have her tone it down just a little bit. Rounding up Corrupted Gems would have been a lot easier with Spinel by their side, but I really think that awkward feeling would persist until Amethyst came into the picture. Spinel latching onto Amethyst as her new best friend, and her desire to entertain, to be moral support, that would all go into Amethyst as they adjust her into society. Although, as we all know, Amethyst would become the most human out of all of them. If anything, I think Amethyst would get Spinel into a lot of hijinks and shenanigans, causing Spinel to act a little more lax and human as a result. When Rose Quartz gives up her physical form in order to give birth to Steven, Spinel would definitely be conflicted. Pink Diamond was her original best friend, and of course she still feels a sense of allegiance to her. But I can definitely see Rose pitching it as, look at it like this, Spinel. You're going to have a new best friend, and he'll be unlike anyone you've ever met before. And thus, we know the story. Story, Steven would be brought into the world, and the events of the series would probably play out the same at large, except Spinel would definitely have an interesting arc of her own. She would always try to be everyone's best friend without having a best friend of her own. Steven would see the toxic traits that his mom never really corrected, but just kept pushing on to other people slightly similar to their arc in the movie. But just as how all the gems have truly grown into their own person by the end of the series, or at least up until Change Your Mind, Spinel would definitely be her own person by the end as well, learning how to truly be a good friend without being overbearing, and learning that it's okay to be alone, it's okay to not smother some of affection 24-7. She would learn how to form friendships organically, not forcing anything. She would be the best version of Spinel possible. But obviously, the events of the movie would not have happened, and the diamonds would not have anyone to replace that void Pink Diamond left behind. And from there, we don't really know what would happen because we don't really know what's in store for Spinel in the future of the series. We're obviously going to see the diamonds again, so it's only natural we would see Spinel again. But at least for now, I hope you guys would be satisfied for this alternate storyline and outcome for Spinel, a version where Steven was able to truly help her out. And that's not to say he didn't in the film, but Spinel clearly goes on her own journey. She accepts that she can't embark on such a quest with Steven, that their past is already too complicated, but that is okay, because she's still trying to correct Correct herself. She's going to become a better person, even if she is aware that friendship with Steven isn't on the table. But again, in this alternate reality, it is. Like, it, it, they were friends, and it, it was great. And yeah, the, there's probably a lot of goofy townie episodes with Spinel, and they were like, ah, Spinel. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. What do you think? What is your vision of Crystal Gem Spinel? How do you think it would have changed events in the series? Again, I think things would have largely played out the same, unless like Spinel and Pearl or Spinel and Garnet had some crazy fusion that totally negated like half the enemies they encountered, especially Aquamarine and her wand. Like, I'm not really sure if adding another gem to Alexandra into whatever that fusion would be called would still be able to overpower such a thing, and that's really the main reason why I see a lot of things playing out the same. I think Jasper would still get corrupted. I think Steven would still turn himself in. 
I believe everything with the closer still would have happened, etc. But as always, drop your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RhymedableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Austin Fox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Oshak Fox, signing out.